so here we're looking at two 600 cells. Those are four dimensional polytopes. You know, you have a square in two dimensions and you have like a cube or an icosahedron or a dodecahedron in three dimensions. This is a, a polytope in four dimensions. It's called the 600 cell. It's made out of 600 tetrahedron. In four dimensions, they're spinning around and then they're projected down into three dimensions where we can see them. Here I have some visualization tools set up where I can um, manipulate uh, the plot of the data and change some things around if I want to look at you know, this one or, or switch it up, look at that one instead, I can. In this configuration, we have two uh, 600 cells, these two polytopes in four dimensions. Um, they're intersecting each other. They're, they're next to each other, neighboring, and they have an intersection um, that is a whole icosahedron. So let's look at that. So I made the, the two 600 cells transparent, and what's opaque is the boundary between them. Um, so here I'm, I'm dialing back so I can see individual tetrahedrons instead of all of them at once. So here's all of them, and then here's just a few of them. We're doing physics here, and physics happens in space and time, space-time. And space-time is a geometric construct. It has geometry. It can be analyzed in geometry. And if you know something about geometry, you know something about space-time. <laughs> and, um, you know, at the quantum scale, things are reported to be, you know, more than four dimensions. I mean, what we're doing starts in eight dimensions and goes to four and three from there. So we, that's where we begin. So yeah, we have to be able to go into the eight dimension space and um, work out what's happening without maybe being able to close our eyes and visualize it. 